Hi guys, um, Terry here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to be looking at the January 2021 question 9. Okay, so question 9 here. Um, in the diagram below, A, B, C, D are points on the circumference of the circle with center O. A, O, C and B, O, D are diameters and A, B and D, C are parallel, right? So basically what they are saying is what we see on the diagram. Um, they said state with a reason why A, B, C is 90 degrees. Where is A, B, C? So this is A here, this is B and this is C, right? Um, all we need to say here, guys, is that um, A, C is a diameter. Right, so you can tell them um, the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. Right, you can say that, right? Or the other thing we can say is that the diameter subtends a right angle on the circumference of a circle, right? So we can also say, so there's one thing, so the diameter subtends a right angle on the circumference of a circle. Right? So that's all we need to say, right? There's only one mark for that. Now, the next thing that we want here now, determine each of the following angles and show detailed working when necessary. So we want angle BAC, that is this angle here, right? Which is actually equal to 2P, right? Now, we already know that this angle here is 90 degrees. So all we need to do, we have a triangle ABC. So we can say that 2P plus 3p plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees right so 2p plus 3p is 5p so 5p plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees so therefore 5p is equal to 180 minus 90 so 5p is equal to 90 degrees so therefore p is equal to 90 degrees over 5 and that's going to give me 18 degrees, right? Now, that just means that the angle P is 18. But what they want me to work out in the question here, they want me to work out um, 2P. So angle BAC, right, is equal to 2P. So this is going to be 2 multiplied by 18, right, which is going to give me 36 degrees, right? So that's my that's my first angle there. That's going to be 36 degrees, right? Now the next part they want angle Q. So we know here is 36 degrees, right? We know here is 90, and they want to figure out Q, right? Now if you look at this diagram carefully, right? This line here, BC, this is a chord, right? That's a chord. So if I try to use the ends of the chord to make an angle on the circumference, in this case here, I'm getting 36 degrees. If I use those same points B and C to make an angle on the circumference, that angle should be the same 36 degrees. So there's no calculation here, but Q has to be equal to 36 degrees. And all we need to say here, right, angles in the same segment, Angles in the same segment are equal. Right? That's all we need to say here. And the last part, they want angle R. So let's go back to our diagram there. Right? Let me get this. Alright, so let's see what we know. We know this is 36. We also know that this here is 36 degrees, right? 
and we want to figure out what is this angle here right now BD if we go back to the question they said that um, where is it at the beginning of the question they said <coughs> BOD is a diameter right BOD is a diameter so let's go back here so if BOD that's this line here B O D right that's a diameter it means that this whole angle here right has to be 90 degrees right so what we can say here is that 3p plus r is equal to 90 degrees but we worked out p previously we got 18 so this is going to be 3 multiplied by 18 plus r is equal to 90 degrees so 18 by 3 is going to give me 54 so this is 54 degrees plus r is equal to 90 so therefore r is 90 degrees minus 54 degrees so r is equal to 36 degrees right now there's an alternative way that we could have done this right we know that ab is parallel to cd right by these lines here they're telling me that these are parallel so if this angle here is 36 degrees it means that r is also 36 degrees right so there's an alternative way we can say r is equal to 36 degrees right because right um b a c is alternate with ACB right so yeah more than one way you could work this out right you could have just looked at it and say that has to be 36 right or if you want you could have done it this way as well right the next part of the question here now we want they said from a harbor each right uh, let me just let me just get a So from a harbor each, right, we bear of two boys, S and Q. So we are at this point each here, so we draw in our north line. So S is 185, all right, cool. And Q is 311, right? So Q is up here, right? Um, and they give us some distance. They said our distance Q is 5.4 kilometers from each. So this here is 5.4 kilometers. On the diagram, which shows the sketch, insert the value of the angle mark Q QHS. What is QHS? Right, so QHS is this angle here. Is the angle that they want here, right? But the thing is, we know the bearing um, was 311, right? So this whole angle here, right? This bearing of Q from H, is actually equal to 311 degrees right that whole thing is 311 degrees so the um, the Q HS right is simply gonna be 311 minus 185 and that's gonna give me 126 so this here is 126 degrees right so this um so let me just put this in the corner here so you can see what i'm talking about right so this angle here this angle here is 126 degrees right that's our angle so one mark for that the next part they said um calculate qs right they want qs right Right, so let's see this is 126 right um, that distance was 5.4 kilometers right and we want the distance between the two boys so we want um, this distance here right uh, just now did they give me any, any other information oh yeah they said um, s is 3.5 kilometers from each 
So this here is 3.5 kilometers, right? And we want to get this distance here, right? So if you look at this, this is a triangle that does not have a, a right angle. So what I'm going to use in this case here, I'm going to use my cosine rule. Right now, I usually tell my students, right, don't try to remember the cosine rule, right? Understand how you use any formula. So the side that we want to find, which is QS, that's going to be QS squared is equal to. You're going to take the two sides on either side of the angle that we do know. So this is going to be 5.4 squared plus 3.5 squared minus open brackets two by the two sides. So that's sorry, that's 5.4 by 3.5 by cosine of the angle that we do know, which is 126 degrees, right? So therefore, QS squared is equal to 5.4 squared is going to be 29.16 plus 3.5 squared is 12.25. Minus, and we need to work out everything there in that bracket. So that's 2 by 5.4 by 3.5 multiplied by cosine 126. And you're going to get, no, in this case, again, a negative answer. I am getting negative 22.21 or 22. Right? Now you have to be careful, right, with this question. Eh? So QS squared is equal to, so we're going to work out the right hand side. So that's 29.16 plus 12.25. When you have two negative signs coming one after the next like this, we have to add it. So it's plus 22.22 and I'm going to get 63.63. So therefore QS is simply going to be the square root of 63.63. So QS is going to be 7.98 right so that's going to be my answer 7.98 so that's part two and the last part of the question they want you to calculate the bearing of s from q right now the from q is where we draw in our north line so you draw a north line at q and we want to know the bearing of s so this is where s is eh? so the bearing that they want us to work out here is this angle right they want that angle there now this here we know let's go back to the diagram here that's 126 so this here is 126 degrees the lengths that we do know we have 5.4 3.5 so this here is 5.4 kilometers this here is 3.5 kilometers right and we also know that length there which was 7.98 right now if you want to get that bearing here what we should do we should first work out what is this small angle here right we need to work out that small angle first right so let's call that small angle theta. You can call it whatever you want. And what I'm going to do here, in this case here, I have an angle and I have the side opposite the angle. I have this side here, but I don't know what this angle is here. So I'm going to use the sine rule. So using the sine rule. Right? And again, I usually tell my students, don't learn of the formula, try to understand how to use the formula. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one length, right? Um, let's say the 3.5. And I'm going to divide by sine of the angle that we want to find, which is theta, is equal to 7.98. That's another length divided by sine 126 degrees, right? And to work this out, I'm just going to cross multiply. So 7.98 sine theta is equal to 3.5 multiplied by sine 126. So therefore sine theta 
is equal to 3.5 multiplied by sine 126 all over 7.98 right so sine theta so we use a calculator to work that piece out so 3.5 multiplied by sine 126 divided by 7.98 and I'm gonna get 0 0.355 so therefore theta is arc sine of 0 0.355 so that angle there I'm gonna get 20.8 degrees right now this is not the final answer because that, that's only theta we just worked out they want us to work out the bearing right they want us to work out the bearing so what we're gonna have to do now we need to figure out we use a different color here so you can see we need to figure out what is this angle here this green angle here right now this angle on this side here I can work that out right so this angle here is 360 degrees minus 126 plus 185 degrees right so that's gonna give me so 360 minus open brackets 126 plus 185 and I'm gonna get 49 degrees right this angle here is 49 degrees so if I know that that is 49 now this north line here is parallel to this north line so I can work out this angle here this green one here that green one is simply gonna be 180 degrees minus 49 degrees and you're gonna get 131 degree right so therefore to get your final answer right to the bearing that they want right is simply gonna be the 131 plus the 20.8 right and that's going to give you 151.8 degrees right so the bearing is 151.8 degrees right so that's it for question 9 like I said if you like my work hit subscribe um, hit like right hit the notification bell and also you can share this with your friends right so that's it guys